What's up everybody? It is Nightmare Before Christmas week on Thingamavlogs, so to celebrate I'm gonna do a Disney Parks inspired video telling you the history of the Haunted Mansion Holiday attraction. I love Haunted Mansion Holiday, I love Disney Parks history, it's the perfect match. So before Haunted Mansion Holiday was even a thing, Disneyland had two very popular Christmas time attraction overlays. One was It's a Small World Holiday and the other was Country Bear Christmas Special. So Disney Parks wanted to expand on the fun idea of changing an attraction during the holiday season, so they looked next at the Haunted Mansion. Now initially they wanted to do a Christmas Carol version of the Haunted Mansion because of course there are ghosts in the Christmas Carol and there are ghosts on the Haunted Mansion. But it didn't quite fit well with the placement of the mansion in New Orleans Square because the story of A Christmas Carol does not take place in New Orleans. They also didn't want to put Santa Claus in such a spooky place like the Haunted Mansion. They felt like it didn't fit very well. So this was all happening kind of in the late 90s and Nightmare Before Christmas had come out way before in 1993. When Disney created the Nightmare Before Christmas it was initially kind of like the weird stepchild of the Disney animation family. Obviously Nightmare Before Christmas was a much creepier, weirder movie than the other Disney movies that were coming out around the same time like The Lion King and Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. But despite the ways that it deviated from the norm for Disney animation it became more popular every year after its release in 1993. So Disney Imagineering decided to do an overlay of Haunted Mansion with Nightmare Before Christmas and it took them three years to figure out how they were gonna do it. Imagineer Steve Davison, who very famously in my mind created World of Color, took the lead on this one and there were a lot of unexpected challenges to creating this overlay. One of the main issues was that all of the original voice actors and for the most part facial actors for the characters on the ride were all dead by the time they were planning the overlay. So they had to get a lot of adequate, similar sounding, similar looking replacements. Paul Fries was the original voice actor for the ghost host on the Haunted Mansion and he was replaced with voice actor Corey Burton, who's able to sound pretty similar. Famous Imagineer Leota Toombs was the facial model for Madame Leota, they also named it after her, and her daughter Kim Irvine came in to perform in her mother's place as the Madame Leota for Haunted Mansion Holiday. Susan Blakeslee provided the new voice for Madame Leota and she did her best impression of original voice actress Eleanor Audley. The other challenge with designing this overlay was just how expansive they wanted it to be. As compared to Small World Holiday, this is a really big change to the ride. It's more than just putting some lights and some costumes on some of the maquettes. They really changed the entire interior of the Haunted Mansion to create an entire new story, which is why it took them three years to get it done. Haunted Mansion Holiday finally officially opened on October 3rd, 2001 and quickly became extremely popular, necessitating the Fast Pass system for the season on Haunted Mansion Holiday. There's no Fast Pass normally on Haunted Mansion, but they gotta put one in for Haunted Mansion Holiday because it's just that popular. There have been continual updates and additions to Haunted Mansion Holiday throughout the years. Even just this year, they added the Sally animatronic to the graveyard scene it just keeps getting bigger and better, and who knows if we'll see Haunted Mansion Holiday overlays at any of the other Disney parks in the future. What do you guys think? That's a good question for the comments, actually. Let me know if you think they should start doing Haunted Mansion Holiday at other Disney theme parks, and if so, which one would you like to see it at next? Enjoy Nightmare Before Christmas week on Thingamavlogs, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!